Hello everyone! How are you all doing today? I hope you're all having a blessed Friday. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here tonight. Here's your daily news report and fourth stimulus check update. I have some good news. Congress is moving ahead on the trillion dollar bipartisan infrastructure deal. There are a few ways that you could also receive unclaimed stimulus money. The three winners of this week's Amazon gift card giveaway are Denise Brown Johnson, Joseph Leonelli, and Kristen Bermudez. Congratulations to all three of you. Remember everyone, next Friday, I will be announcing more winners of my Amazon gift card giveaway. To enter my giveaway, what you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and also leave a comment below. Thank you so much, everyone. The Senate took the next step on Friday to bring up a roughly $1 trillion bipartisan infrastructure deal that will fulfill key priorities in President Joe Biden's agenda. Senators voted 66 to 28 on a motion to proceed, a vote that will open up the legislative package to potential changes through the amendment process. 16 Republican senators voted with Senate Democrats in favor. It remains to be seen whether any amendments will be agreed to, since they are expected to be subject to a 60 vote threshold. The bill's text still has not yet been formally unveiled and amendments are not expected to be considered until Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer offers up the finalized deal as a substitute amendment which could happen at some point later this weekend. The expectation is that there could be amendment votes over the weekend. Well, Mr. President, it's two o'clock on a Friday afternoon and uh, we've now taken two votes um, on a bipartisan infrastructure plan that has not even been written yet, finally. Uh, we know there are outlines and we are I'd ask consent that the quorum call be dispensed with. Without objection. Mr. President, it's 2 o'clock on Friday afternoon, and it looks like we're going to grind through this bipartisan infrastructure bill this weekend, as uh, Senator Schumer has ordained. But we've now had a couple of votes, um, actually this three votes now, to proceed to a bill that hasn't even been written yet in totality. Uh, and indeed, the reason we were delayed this morning was because some of the text that was written did not comport with the agreement between the negotiating parties. I've said this from the beginning that Senator Schumer should not rush a bill to the floor before it's ready. It's simply not a good practice. Chuck Schumer said today ahead of the vote, given the bipartisan nature of the bill, the Senate should be able to process this legislation rather quickly. We may need the weekend. We may vote on several amendments. But with the cooperation of our Republican colleagues, I believe we can finish a bipartisan infrastructure bill in a matter of days. The procedural vote had been briefly delayed today as lawmakers squabbled over legislative texts and Republicans accused Democratic leadership of trying to substitute an alternate version as the base text of the bill that differed from the bipartisan accord. GOP Senator Rob Portman of Ohio, a lead negotiator in the bipartisan group said, that Chuck Schumer had given him assurances that would not happen and he would let the bipartisan bill serve as the underlying proposal. A Democratic aide told CNN News, the rumors and innuendos are false. Schumer agreed from the beginning the substitute will be the agreed to text from the bipartisan group. That is still the case. The Senate is racing to pass a bipartisan deal before leaving for the fast approaching August recess, which is scheduled to start at the end of next week, though leaders in the chamber could change that. The vote comes after negotiators announced a deal earlier this week. Everyone, please leave a comment in the comment section below if you think Democrats should just use the budget reconciliation process to get the bill passed through Congress. This crisis has caused a lot of hardship for millions of Americans. Stimulus programs have given direct payments to many families across the nation, the most recent being $1,400 checks back in March. But those checks were one-time payments. There were three changes in the American Rescue Plan 
that will help you pay specific recurring bills. Many people are not aware that the stimulus bill included a provision that will give people a $50 discount on their broadband internet bill. This program will end, but only under two conditions, a government declaration that the crisis has ended or the program runs out of money. The Emergency Broadband Benefit Program was initially funded with $3.1 billion. And as of July 31st, 2021, the program still has $2.9 billion in it. According to the FCC, the program provides a one-time device discount of up to $100 for a laptop, desktop computer, or tablet purchased through a participating provider. The one-time discount requires a consumer co-payment of more than $10 or less than $50. Hunger was a big problem in America before the crisis hit. And sadly, this crisis had only made it worse. That is maybe why a boost in the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program was included in the American Rescue Plan. The stimulus program increased the amount of money that people would get for food by 15%. This program will also end soon. It is scheduled to end on September 2021. Another thing that the American Rescue Plan did was lower the cost of buying health care through the Affordable Care Act's marketplace. The American Rescue Plan lowered premiums for people who already had a health care plan through the marketplace. And according to the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, the savings amount to about $50 per person or about $85 per policy per month. The agency also states that four out of five enrollees will be able to find a plan for $10 or less per month after premium tax credits and over 50% will be able to find a silver plan for $10 or less. If you or someone you know will be affected by the eviction moratorium, please be advised there is rental assistance available. If you are approved for the relief, you could get up to 18 months of rent covered. If you have not applied yet, please act quickly. Doing so could help you stay in your home longer. The National Low Income Housing Coalition has a state-by-state -state list of the 483 programs giving out the federal money for rental assistance. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau also has a new tool to help you apply for the rental relief. If you would like to apply for rental assistance, I will be leaving a link in the comment section below that can help you find rental assistance programs in your state. So that's the end of the video, everyone, for tonight. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope you found this video helpful. Remember, next Friday, I will be announcing more winners of my Amazon gift card giveaway. You can enter the giveaway. What you need to do is subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, and also like this video. Thank you so much, everyone, and have a very blessed weekend.